Hello and welcome back. So today we are off on another adventure. We're getting about a bit, aren't we, recently? It's quite exciting though, being able to record these kind of videos. Many of you will remember, recently I went to um, the London Coin Fair and I met uh, a coin dealer company there, uh, Chards Coin and Bullion. And they're based up in Blackpool. They had a lovely gift basket for me to take away, which you'll have seen in that video. And today we're driving up, it's Friday evening, we're gonna drive up to Blackpool. So to record some videos on Saturday with them and maybe see some sights as well. And then it's off home on Saturday evening. But uh, it's a fairly long trip, so I'm sure I will pause on route to refuel myself because <laughs> I have had a full day of work and this is um, a fairly sizable trip across the UK. But um, excited to go. So let's get on the road. Right then, progress update. We are halfway there. It is, what time is it? I have no idea. It is five past 10. Uh, so I've still got another two hours to go. Horrendous traffic. I've just made it north of Birmingham. Um, and that was pretty catastrophic, but I haven't had dinner and I'm getting very, very hungry. So time to get some food. Well, I seem to miss Burger King by a few minutes. So it's a WH Smith dinner time special. Well, we're all fed and watered. Um, gonna fill up so this will last me the rest of the trip there and home again. They have got petrol here, which is good news. The bad news is 156 a litre. Oh dear me, what a nightmare. It is now one o'clock in the morning and I'm finally here. And this is where I'm about to collapse. So, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. I slept like the dead, so. <laughs> a good night's sleep. Now it's time to some breakfast before we head over to Charles Coins and Bullion Store. The nectar of life. Welcome to the great British seaside. Apologies about the wind in advance. It's very windy. It has a little small reprieve from the rain. You can see a roller coaster. I'm not sure I'd want to go on this uh, weather condition like this, but I'm going to go in and record some videos. Where we are, Charles Coin and Bullion. So excited to go in and see whether we can get some awesome finds. That video, those videos will be up in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for them. Well, here we go. We're all set up, ready to record some coin hunts. They'll be out in the next coming weeks. And obviously you can head over to Chards, they've got their own YouTube channel which I'll be featuring in a video on, so be sure to check that out as well. So now we're here at Chards, I'm joined by John, and we've got some fascinating coins to take a look at, which are not coins that I would have been able to show you guys ordinarily, but I'm very excited to be up here to have a look at some of these coins. So what are we starting with then? Um, great one to start with, I think uh, a recent coin by the Royal Mint, mm -hmm. the Queen's Peace Completer. We are all gloved up so for safety. We don't want to be touching these high value coins. So what weight was this? Uh, one ounce. So it's a one ounce gold, the Queen's Bees Completer coin. Now the Completer coin was my favorite coin of the year so far. There's still some left of the year to get for mm -hmm. to be topped, but uh, it would take some doing. But yeah, to see that in gold is absolutely extraordinary. Obviously we've got all the different Queen's Beasts around the rim that, or the outside, the inner part, outside, whatever you want to call it, that featured on the different coins there. Did you have a favourite Queen's Beast out of the set? Um, I think the, the Black Bull, the Black Bull yeah. was a, a, a great coin, but again, all, all the designs were mm, fantastic. They were. My favourite was the, the Red Dragon, but they very yeah. cool coins. <laughs> And if we flip over, we've got the obverse. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yep, uh, both sides designed by Jody Clark, so. Yeah, of course, yeah. I, I always forget that he designed the Queen's <laughs> Beast. I wonder who's going to do the Tudor Beasts when they start coming out. Time will tell. Exactly, no, that's a beautiful coin. Okay, uh, moving on. Yep, next up. A classic. Yeah. Modern classic. Uh, bullion coin, the Britannia. They're very popular, aren't they? Yeah. I've got a couple of one ounce silvers, but I've never seen the gold one. And they're doing some really fascinating stuff with the Britannias. So they've got the Britannia bars as well, don't they, recently? Yep, yep. Uh, what's inter interesting about the coins, they have the new security features with the uh, hologram, the mm -hmm. tincture waves, tincture ah. lines. Ah. It's got this beautiful sort of pattern on the obverse as well. That's glorious, isn't it? <laughs> You can look at these all day. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, part of the popularity, um, they're legal legal currency mm -hmm. in the UK, so they are capital gains tax free. So for somebody that has oh, a lot course. of them that wants to sell them on, mm. they can benefit from that. Similar with the Queen's Beast. Yeah. Coins. They get a beautiful design. Um, so we buy these back in just under spot as well. So it's a, a good trade for people looking to sell. Definitely. 
And obviously these are available on your website. Yep. And we'll link over to the YouTube channel as well so you can go over and check out some of the cool videos you've got on your channel as well. Moving on to Europe. Right. Now yeah. I've got to try and figure out how to open this with these gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> So what's this one then? So this is the one ounce again, uh, Viennese or Austrian Philharmonic. Wow. So again, relatively new. This was um, first introduced in 1989. Mm -hmm. Republic Österreich. Fantastic. It's interesting because obviously with the Euros, there's so such a sort of a, 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 a definitive set across them. To see some of the bullion stuff they produce, I've not seen anything from Europe. This, this style. Well, interestingly, this is the only one ounce European bullion coin. Oh. So it's face value of, of 100 euros. Yeah. Um, obviously worth a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> intrinsically. <laughs> it's a beautiful design. We've got all sorts of instruments on there. Fantastic. It's got an interesting rim as well. Part milled. Wow. It's awesome having a look at these guns. There's no way I would be <laughs> ever have to find these in one of my random world lots online. Fascinating. So what's the design on this side of the coin? So that's the great uh, the great organ mm -hmm. in the musical of the Music Rhine in uh, Vienna. Wow. Again, there's, there's a lot of detail to be had on the coin as well. I don't know if we can get a little bit closer and see some of the detail. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So okay. possibly the most recognisable yes. one-ounce bullion coin. I've had a couple of fakes sent to me in my PO box, so <laughs> <laughs> the Cougarand. Gosh, to hold one is very bizarre. And it's a very weighty coin, isn't it? It is. Because I think along with the sovereigns, the Cougarans are quite iconic sort of bullion coins, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, interestingly, they also have a micro lettering since 2017, I believe it was. Ah. Like you need a pretty strong uh, lens to get it up close, mm -hmm. but you can see uh, the word Krugerand on there. Where, whereabouts? So just underneath the leg of the Springbok. Oh. I'm not going to be able to pick it up, but um, so there's micro lettering on there somewhere. Fascinating. Well, this is the first time I've ever held a Kruger Rand, so <laughs> <laughs> amazing stuff. Okay. So who is it that's on the obverse of the coin then? So that's uh, Paul Kruger, mm -hmm. uh, former Boa leader. Oh, I see. The coin being named after him, obviously. Mm. That's pretty cool to have a coin named after yourself. Such an <laughs> iconic coin as well. Okay, moving across the Atlantic now. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so this is quite a cool coin because I'm half Canadian, my mother being Canadian. The Royal Canadian Mint makes some absolutely beautiful stuff. So what's this then? Very simple, the one ounce uh, bullion maple coin. Amazing. It's such a lovely design, isn't it? Yeah, they, they really do a lot with their coins. Even their bullion saddle coins are pretty special. Mm. And I must admit, this is one of my favorite portraits of the Queen. It's an absolutely stunning portrait. I love this sort of effect that's happening on the coin as well. Yeah, the, the glimmer is, I think it's, it's relatively new to um, the Canadian Mint, but it really gives off a glimmer. If you, We've used it on a carousel on our maple video, and mm. when the light hits it at just the right angle, it just yeah. really glistens. This is amazing, isn't it? $50. So this is a sort of a, a, their equivalent of a, a sort of what we would release as a sovereign in the UK, then, is it sort of a... Uh, closer to uh, Britannia. Oh, okay. Yeah, both both one ounce bullion coins. So. Amazing. <clears throat> God, I could definitely look at this one all day. It's an absolutely <laughs> beautiful coin. And last but not least. Now these are very cool. We've recently had the the UK's or the Royal Mint's Lunar Year of the Tiger coin, and I must admit, so these are from Perth Mint. Perth Mint. Yeah, the Perth Mint's Lunar series. Although the UK one was a very beautiful coin and a lovely one that I uploaded a video on fairly recently, this is absolutely stunning. I love the, the contrast of the sort of the, um, the, what was it, the, the frosted part of the elements of the coin, the design. It really does separate the elements of the coin, doesn't it? Almost like a reverse proof yeah. type coin. Another cool portrait of the Queen as well. Very cool. And there's the, the gold one as well. Yeah, two different designs. Mm -hmm. uh, people have their own preference. For me, I prefer the uh, the silver design, but yeah. there's absolutely nothing wrong with the gold either. Exactly. A very ferocious looking tiger. Very little sort of motion and action in that design as well, isn't it? <laughs> Which I think is very cool. And it's very odd seeing 2022 on coins, I must admit. So. <laughs> I think we'll start seeing a lot more in the, in the yeah. coming weeks and months. But no, a lovely design, isn't it? I think the silver one, the cuteness of that little cup in there as well. Yeah. It just shows you what awesome stuff there is out and about in the world in the in the coin sets as well. 
And one more special one, we'll leave that. Yeah, so one more we're going to finish up on, which is a, a coin that I was quite interested in seeing. I've seen it online, but it's not the sort of sets that I buy. Oh, we got it out. Getting stuck to it. Mm. This is idiot proof packaging, you see. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm in. Glad I'm stuck. <laughs> the there we go. Managed to get into the packaging. And so, what is this then? So, that is the 2022 uh, Gold Made Marine Coin. Wow. There's been a few different designs that have come out in this sort of it's a, it's a sort of a series of bullion coins. Yeah, and... yeah. Um, literary characters. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, Robin Hood. The story's been around for hundreds of years. Yeah, probably one of the most famous English stories, certainly. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, to feature some of the characters from that's amazing. From that, from that legend is uh, very interesting. And again, the design of the obverse, this sort of mottled, the cross hatching, I don't know how you'd even describe that. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> but no, some exquisite coins that, as I said, other than coming here and doing this video, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had in my hands before. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have a no, look at uh, it. Th they're very popular. We only have a, a few left, so. Ah. And you can head over to Chard's uh, Coin and Bullion's uh, YouTube channel and you feature all these wonderful coins as you get them. And as I'm sure, as more awesome coins come out later in the year, um, you'll be able to go over and, and see them over on their channel too. Yeah. Well, we're all done in Blackpool then. Overrun a little bit, which has meant I'm not going to be able to get out and about as much as I originally had thought. But um, it's been a fantastic time. We've got so many videos coming up now with them uh, on the on the Chard's channel and on my channel too, so keep an eye out for those. Well, as you can see, I made it home all well and good. Uh, I had a fantastic time up at Chard's Coin and Bullion um, up in Blackpool. It was so cool seeing so many coins that I would never have had the opportunity to have a look through. And there's a whole bunch more videos coming out on my channel over on Chard's YouTube channel as well. So a big thank you to the guys for making that happen. Uh, we've got some coin hunts come up. One very, very special coin, which I cannot wait to show you because it's going to absolutely blow your mind. It blew my mind when it happened. And yes, stay tuned for that. You'll know when it, when it uploads and I'm sure you go and check it out. Uh, thanks again to the lovely people at Chard's meeting all you lovely people uh, looking at some of the amazing products that you've got on your website uh, it was it was opened my eyes to a whole new market of sort of coin collecting uh, which is uh, sort of beyond my reach but uh, to be able to do this and show you guys was awesome fun so uh, if you can head on over to Chards and give them my thanks um, for doing these awesome videos with me and stay tuned for the next one so all that leads me to now is thank you all so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins bye